In the world of social media, it can be challenging to stand out from the crowd. Well, in this episode, we're going to talk about how to build your personal brand via social media so people look at your profile and they instantly want to follow you and connect with you. Welcome to Thriving Launch with Louise Congdon and Kamala Chambers, the show for heart-centered entrepreneurs who want it all. Five days a week, we bring you different segments to inspire you to live a life of freedom. We interview the leading experts in the field of business, health, and love. Be sure to check out Training Tuesdays, where we give you a clear action plan to grow your own business. Do you have a product or service that you would like to sell online? Or maybe you've been thinking about it, but you're reserved to do it because you need a website, you need complicated systems, and you need to spend money. I've created a completely free course that teaches you how to use Facebook in a purely organic way. This means no ads and no money are needed. You can use Facebook completely free. So head on over to thrivinglaunch.com. Opt into my Profit from Social Media course. I'm going to teach you the free methods to using Facebook to make money today. Using social media to create a six-figure business in a quick span of time and doing it completely organically Sherry Ami is the master of social media branding. You're going to want to tune in because Sherry Ami is going to teach us how to dial in social media and use it the way that she's done it to build a highly profitable online business. Let's talk about getting attention online with a branding strategist who's going to help us brand ourselves in an even bigger way to get the attention that we want online. You're listening to the Thriving Launch Podcast with your hosts, Kamala Chambers and Louise Congdon. I love it. Welcome to the show, Sherry. Are you ready to launch? I am so ready. I'm so excited to be here. Thank you both so much. Okay. We're branding here. is such a big thing. You were going to say something. I'm I was just, just going to say we're here wow. with Sherry on me, which yes. is such an incredible thing. Beautiful to be. Name. I know. It's I love it. amazing to have you here. I know you've been Thank doing you. this for over 15 years. She yeah. works with our friend, Chris Duncan, who runs another podcast, Freedom Fast Lane. Is that the name of his show? Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, Total Freedom TV. Total yeah, Freedom it? TV. See, yeah, there's the Freedom is such a common name. I'm sorry about that, Chris. If you're listening, <laughs> there's like five shows with the word freedom, so I'm sorry. <laughs> he forgives you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's he's incredible. So yeah, that's how we were kind of introduced. So I'm excited for my relationship with him and all the incredible people like both of you that I am meeting. So yeah, I'm very excited to be here. Well, let's dive right in because I know our audience is, we're go-getters and we want to know how do we get that attention online. And I know that you, you take the approach of branding. So what does branding have to do with getting your attention online? Right. So specifically, there's different types of brandings. You can have like a corporate brand, you can have a product brand, and you can have a personal brand, right? So there's those, those are the three core types of brandings you can have. So corporate, product, and personal branding. So I specialize in personal branding. And when I talk about branding, I kind of picture what the term branding kind of came from, which is like branding a cow, right? Burning that that symbol, that mark on the side of a cow. And I kind of got this from one of my other mentors, uh, Grant Cardone number one New York Times bestselling author, also known as the godfather of sales. And he talks about branding is more like just burning your the name of your brand into the minds of your market, of your audience. And, you know, and it's funny because for somebody like me that's been in marketing and advertising for 15 years, I really realized once he said that, that I I think for such a long time, the term branding was kind of misunderstood. It used to be that people would just either market their business or they would advertise their business. And then all of a sudden this word came around called branding. And we associated it more with like the colors of your website or the colors of a book or the font you use. And while that's all part of the personality of your brand, there's a whole other aspect of branding, which is you want to become unforgettable. You want the audience to be so enthralled 
by you and also to never forget about you, right? So you never want to come off of the top of their mind. So out of sight, out of mind. When I talk about personal branding, it is literally about burning the name of your brand into the minds of your audience. And that means staying in the forefront of their minds constantly. (laughs) So this is kind of why the term busting out of obscurity came into play because obscurity is remaining in the unknown where people don't know who you are. And one of the biggest problems that entrepreneurs have is they have this incredible product or they have this incredible message, incredible heart that they want to share with the world. And the problem is nobody knows who they are. They're just unknown. And so that ends up becoming their biggest problem because it doesn't matter how good your product is, if you don't have an audience to even market to or to sell to, how are you going to make a living, right? How are you going to make money to be able to even reinvest that back into your company and go bigger? So I'd love to hear your genius insights and how you get known. How do you, (laughs) how do you start to burn your brand into the minds of your audience? Yes, yes, yes. Well, there's several ways you can do it. So I'll give you, I'll run through like seven ways that I like to talk about. And one of the ways is, and kind of talking about some of the biggest mistakes people make when they try to do it themselves, is they don't do enough. So the first thing you really want to do is you want to get out there on social media, first of all, and you want to get out there on really as many platforms as you can. I usually like to stick with three or four of the core ones. So that's usually For me, that's Periscope. Periscope helped launch my brand, live streaming. So that's a live streaming app that you can download in the iTunes store. So there's Periscope, there's Facebook, there's Twitter, there's Instagram. And you want to be able to get out there and share who you are with the world. And I like to talk about the no like, and trust factor. And I always say to my tribe, they love when I say this <laughs> because they know it's true. But I always say, like, when it comes to no like, and trust, I'm a triple threat. And that's why when it ever comes down to sales, for me, it's never very hard. Because by the time I throw any kind of product or service in front of you, you're already begging me for it. And that's because I build up a relationship with my tribe and they get to know me, they get to like me, and they certainly get to trust me. So one of the things that you really have to do is you have to do enough to even build that relationship with others online and connect with other people. So you need to be able to get out there, do enough, do enough with force and do enough with momentum in order to even begin to get attention. The second thing that you really need to do is consistency. You know, I want to jump in real quick because you said something really special there and and it's so important for any entrepreneur because I realize this is something that I even do sometimes is I just want to go straight for the sale. You know, someone writes (laughs) me and they're like, hey, Luis, how do I do X, Y, and Z? I'm like, here's my program. The answer's there. And, right. and it, you know, it's like in you my don't do that. In you my look dream for ways that you can serve people. In, and- in my dream world, though, it's like, well, let's just cut the let's make the shortcut. You know, cut the learning curve shorter for you and the conversation quicker for both of us. And yes. here's the program that's going to do all of that. But what yes. I've learned, and it's just sometimes I get reminded over and over again, is that if you don't have that likability and that trust, then yes. you know it's important to really. Hey, you know, what are you up to? What are your goals? And have that conversation in yes. things like social media and Periscope have been incredible at cutting yes. down the time because now people write me and they say, Hey, Luis, you know, I was looking at your course or Hey, Luis, I went to your website. I saw you were doing this and that. What yes. program of yours should I buy? And so by the time they actually approach me with a buyer's question, I don't really need to say, you know, ask them all the other questions. I just say, well, you know, you looked at these courses. What are you trying to accomplish? And then they just go and buy. You know, the other day I had a client hop on the call with me and within 10 minutes he made a $3,000 
purchase for me, which is wild, like to think of, you know, only yes. talking to someone within 10 minutes, <laughs> they're purchasing. Right. And that's because I created the likability and the trust. And so social media is so powerful. I mean, you know, some people just like scoff at it or they're like, oh, God, it's time consuming. <laughs> right. and, and, and I just want to add one little tip, too, because yeah. Sherry's adding some great stuff here. One thing right. to tell you guys as a listener is don't try to do it all, you know, because there's Instagram, yeah. there's Meerkat, there's gosh, I could go on all day. There's Periscope, there's Facebook, there's Twitter, and, and the list keeps going, you know, and Snapchat, et cetera. What yes. I tell people is start with one medium that you enjoy. You know, right now I'm releasing a course called Profit from Facebook without spending a penny. And and the reason why it's titled that is because you can make money in social media without even buying ads because just through the conversations and the likes and the comments or the tweets and retweets or whatever yeah. medium you're using, but just choose one. And start yeah. with one and start building that likability and that trust with one instead of doing 10 at once. That's all I wanted to yeah. be because that really plays into your next piece is being consistent. But you're only going to be consistent if you're using one or two things. If you're using 10, it's going to be impossible. Yeah, absolutely. I completely, completely agree with that. And social media can get very overwhelming. <laughs> so picking one is great. And like I said, mine was Periscope. So that literally was the one that I did and I did it solely kind of on its own. So I fully agree with that. I definitely exploded first on Periscope and then I was able to transition my tribe over into Twitter and then Facebook. So absolutely. And yes, consistency is everything. So I always hear again from my, my mentor, Grant Cardone, you've got to show up to blow up. <laughs> and there's just certain things in in my success journey that have just made all the difference with my success. And that is one of them. And I cannot say enough the power of showing up consistently every single day, even when you think nobody's liking on your posts, or even when you think you're not contributing value, or even when you're having a bad day. If you continue to show up with consistency, eventually the people will come they will appreciate somebody that is showing up every single day. They grow to count on you and then they grow to support you. So consistency absolutely is, is a big game changer when it comes to getting noticed online. Number three is being authentic. This is my favorite, my favorite, favorite. So this for me is really the core of the type of branding I teach so I specifically, when I work with people, it's really about helping them to explode their personal brands authentically, because I believe that it is through our stories, it is through sharing our authentic selves, that we actually can explode faster, because we're tapping into the heart. And we're tapping into that energetic connection between, and hopefully this isn't getting too kind of, too kind of woo-woo for the business world. You just do your thing. You just do it. (laughs) (laughs) But I just believe there's so much power in that connection and that heart connection between you and your audience or your hidden market that when you share from your heart ahead of your service, ahead of what your product is, ahead of what you're offering them. When you just tap into your heart, people, the right people that vibe with you are going to be drawn to you. And that is exactly how I exploded my brand. I came on first and before I sold a thing, I shared my heart. Mm -hmm. I shared my heart and my audience turned into a raving fan base. And my whole tribe will tell you they will... Not only do they love me, they will fight for me. You know, here's a question for you because this is this is something that I get asked quite often. Is a, and and I think it's good to have a little breakout session in this yeah. in this moment. Is this one of my clients is like, hey, Luis, you know, I'm I'm a a tech guy and I help people with tech questions around their podcasting and stuff. And I'm wondering if inside of Twitter, I should share things, you know, like some of my political beliefs or some of my mm-hmm. likes and dislikes that will clearly make people maybe not like me. And, you know, he was scared and he said, maybe I should start a different one, you know, where I'll talk about the fact that I drink beer and that I'm a Democrat and, you know, that I like this movie and et cetera. And my suggestion was to him was be that guy, 
be full on that guy in yeah. your personal branding. Because here's the thing is that people that will agree with it will buy or maybe they won't. And people that disagree or agree with you, maybe they'll buy, maybe they won't. Most likely what you'll get is the people that are more aligned to you that will purchase from you. But the thing is, is at the end of the day, you're a tech guy, you're doing tech stuff. And if the proof is in the pudding, I don't really care who you voted for. I care about what you can do for my podcast and how you're going to make the sound work. Right. But still, that stuff is going to make me either adore you, which is going to make me follow and listen to you more and share and, and follow you and tell people about you. Or it's going to make me go, oh, I don't I don't know about that guy. And then now your name is still stuck in my head. <laughs> right. Exactly. Exactly. I love it. I mean, I'm all about being your full on self because at the end of the day, and this is kind of where it aligns a lot with Chris Duncan's message of total freedom. At the end of the day, I'm all about creating heaven on earth. I'm all about creating freedom, like a freedom lifestyle. And part of creating freedom is feeling free to be yourself, number one, and being free to enjoy the people that you're working with. And I just feel that when you are completely aligned with yourself and then you are aligning with your ideal audience and clientele which maybe if you are sharing that you like to drink beer or whatever and then your your audience happens to have a passion for that as well and you guys vibe I mean doesn't that create a lot of happiness with your clients because you're aligned with them so I'm just all about alignment in general the most common question I get with my clients around this branding thing is, <laughs> and and really coming into their market and their niche, that yeah. drives me the most crazy as well is, but I just want to help everyone, you know, I want to, uh, I want to yes. just be out there, <laughs> being able to serve everyone, which is amazing, because it really speaks to their heart and how much they want to serve but it really is like shooting a bunch of random <laughs> bullets in the dark, hoping to hit your target. You yes. know, you might have some fatalities in the way if you, like, if you do that. So <laughs> you really want to make sure that you're on, t on target. So I yes. love this being authentic piece. Now what's next in building your brand online and getting the attention? So the next thing is engagement. Engagement is so key in the world of social media. It's very obvious to your audience when you are actively engaging with them or they feel like you see them, right? So as like kind of as human beings, we all just kind of want to be heard and seen, right? Like that's kind of basically like kind of why are we all on social media, right? We want to connect. We want to be seen. We want to be heard. And so engagement has really, I know for myself, helped explode my brand. It's helped me be seen. It's helped me be noticed by other people's audiences. A lot of my tribe actually came from everybody seeing me contributing and engaging on Grant Cardone's posts or Grant Cardone's Periscopes, a lot of people. And so I don't know that everybody understands the reach it can have just by you saying hello, like, you know, on Chris's post is going to expose you to somebody that's following him. And so in part of getting attention and getting noticed and getting out there, it's about being seen. So go where the people are. Go, if you want to expand your audience, go to somebody else's audience and start contributing, start saying hello and start supporting that other person on their post and providing value to the conversation. And then you're going to find that all of a sudden other people are going to see you and they're going to connect with you. And I get labeled a lot as being omnipresent on social media. And the reason I'm omnipresent is because I engage so much that at this point, even if I'm not on social media, people think I'm on there. <laughs> She's like everywhere. It's, Really? It's funny. Like I, I actually am not as, I am not everywhere as much as I used to be and they still call me omnipresent. <laughs> like, so it has a far, a very, very far reach. And part of that is because when you're engaging so much with people, they are feeling your vibration. They're feeling your heart. They're feeling your authenticity. 
and it stays with them. It stays with them when they're interacting on other scopes. All of a sudden, you may not be there and your name comes up. So it's part of creating that omnipresent. As people are talking about you, even when you're not there. It's kind of today, for example, Ben Settle, who we had on the, on the show and we'll include it in the show notes, very well-known copy marketer, email uh-huh. marketer. He has a podcast. It's incredible. And one of his fans, who's also a fan of mine and a really nice woman, posted yeah. inside of Facebook saying, oh, my God, I'm listening to my favorite show. And <laughs> my favorite guy, email marketer, is giving a shout out to one of my favorite other person, which was me. Uh-huh. Which is cool, you know, but it, it's yeah. inside of Facebook. She was promoting someone's show and promoting me. And it was really cool to see right. that. And it's because I've been so active that now, even if I'm not around, my name is starting to pop up in other mediums and people then go to where I tend to be at and go, Oh my God, check this out. Luis being shot out, you know, so yeah. that is the power. People don't realize that social media upfront is probably going to be quite a bit of work just if you consider time. But after a while, that time is compound interest. I'm not even really doing anything on Facebook today or yesterday. And yet people are now going, hey, oh my God, check this out. And that's what's happening. Absolutely. Absolutely. And and that's part of why it's so nice that I was able to prove that I myself was able to bust out of obscurity in 90 days because that's exactly how I packaged up my own program. So I'm telling people, if you give me 90 days of working with me where I strategically take you step by step on every move you need to make, like I literally walk my uh, mentorship trainees through every single move like a chess game. Mm. This is so fantastic. We're going to make sure that we can include the links to that at thrivinglaunch.com because we know how important that is. And you've been walking us through all of these steps. And I know that in your mentorship program, you'll dive a lot deeper. The first one, getting out there on social media. The second one, being consistent. The third one, being authentic. The fourth, being engagement. What's yes. next after engagement? So after engaging, it's really key to start positioning yourself within social media and start generating buzz around you. So there's different ways you can do that. You can author content online. So you can create blogs, you can have a TV show, you can have a blab show. Your own podcast. Yep. You can do your own podcast. And then it's how you, which kind of leads into the next one, it's how you promote it. So it's almost like creating your own micro celebrity bubble around you and being your own media circuit, right? And so you're you're kind of launching your own TV shows, launching your own podcasts, and then you are creating graphics and promotions and you're interviewing key players, right, on your podcast. And that's going to expose you to other people from their audience. And you're positioning yourself and you're packaging yourself even graphic wise as the person, the like the latest it person. So you're no longer kind of idolizing all the the celebrities out in the real world, like the Brad Pitts and the Jennifer Aniston. You're creating that for yourself online. And it's fun. (laughs) That's the thing that I love about it is that it's fun. And when I work with people, my clients have so much fun doing all this. And I always say business doesn't have to be a huge struggle. You can have fun with your branding. It's cool too to to talk about branding because the more you're out there, the more that you're sharing, the more people see you. If you're doing it in the right methods, you're doing it consistently and you have some sort of program or product that you're selling and you're building even just inside of social media, if you're building this brand, a lot of people have been trained that email is the method. But with the Profit from Facebook course, for example, people are seeing that you can do this organically just through social media without even paying for ads or an email list. And it's funny because I have this experience almost every single month where someone reaches out to me and they're like, hey, man, I really want to work with you. 
what do I need to do to start working with you? And I'm like, huh? Right. <laughs> and, then I, and I understand what they're saying, but I'm just kind of like, sometimes yeah. there's people out of the blue reaching out to me that haven't really engaged with me. And well, I've been seeing your posts and, and it just looks like you're having so much fun and what you're up to. <laughs> and quick story is this guy reaches out to me, says he wants to do some work for me, offers it to do completely free. And I'm like, why, why do you want to do all this stuff for free? Like, there's a lot of work. And right. the response was, well, you have so much media attraction happening for you now that I know that if I please you and you ever do any shout outs for me or I get associated with you, it's going to totally catapult my business. And it has, you know, the guys quadrupled his prices in the first month of working with me because simply through the association with someone being that busy in social media, people started noticing him and then went to him, bought his services. And, and, and then I just said, Hey, why don't you change your prices to this? And he did. And that was four times the normal price he was charging. It's just been wild to watch. And I realize now this is one of the reasons why I'm starting to get hit up so often of people trying to give me free stuff because there's value in it. If people see me and Sherry hanging out, and, and this is a true story. Sherry, you posted a post on Facebook today and yeah. several people who are your friends friend requested me and I went and looked at their friends and it said one friend mutual and that was just you. And I was like, oh, okay. Clearly <laughs> that one post. So that, that is the power of social media. Absolutely. Absolutely. It's very, very powerful and it can happen very, very quick. <laughs> and this is the, this is the other key thing I want to point out in busting out of obscurity in this way, this exact way that I'm describing is that what you will find is you'll kind of like, if you were to picture a graph, You'll get this gradual incline, right, of like getting noticed, getting noticed. And it's just kind of rising and you'll start to get the Facebook requests like you're just referring to based off of one post here, a shout out there. And it kind of starts to go uphill, uphill, uphill for a good amount of time. And then and again, we're talking 90 day duration. And then there hits this point on this ramp upwards where it just goes straight up, 90 degree angle, vertical up, and it explodes. And I will never forget the day it happened with my brand. And I, I think I called up Chris and was like, what just happened? <laughs> my inbox and Facebook exploded. The Periscope exploded more. My Facebook friend requests exploded. And it just hit this point where it didn't even matter if I was posting anymore. Everything just exploded. And it literally, it was like one day. And then from there on end, everything exploded. And that comes just to talking about the patience level and the consistency. You've got to show up to blow up. If you do it long enough and you do these activities, it does work. It's really I often say like it's I can't imagine a scenario that it doesn't work when you apply literally everything I have my clients do it's fail proof <laughs> it's fail proof because it's the human heart people are going to fall in love with you it's impossible for them not to. It's been so fantastic having <laughs> you on the show. We've been here with Sherry Ami, and you have provided us so much value about how to get attention online by building our personal brand, which is such a valuable thing to offer. You've been here with your hosts, Kamala Chambers and Louise Congdon. Oh, yeah. I want to make sure you head <laughs> over to thrivinglaunch.com because... I know that Sherry has been talking about some amazing opportunities to work with her. I want to make sure that everybody has all of those opportunities. So check out the show notes because we're going to make sure we're really to gonna break down the notes from today and also <laughs> offer some deeper insights because we always like to recap the show and give you some little deeper working with the show notes because people learn, you know, through audio and visual and writing. And we want to give you all of that at thrivinglaunch.com. All right, everyone, we'll see you over there and look forward to helping you launch. It's been great having you on the show today, Sherry. Thank you, Bo. Thank you, Kamala. Thank you, Louise. I appreciate it. You've been listening to the Thriving Launch Podcast. For books and resources related to today's episode, make sure to head over to thrivinglaunch.com. We'll see you there. And be sure to listen to the next episode with Jay Papazan. 
New York Times bestselling author of the book, The One Thing. If you're looking for ways to create more success in your life, simplify your workload, but also leverage whatever you're doing to get more success, Jay is the guy to help you do that.